Hello there, this is John from MyBrainOnGames.com and I'm here to continue playing Project Gotham Racing 4 on the Xbox 360. I want to say this is like my 6th or 7th video playing this game. Uh, making progress slowly but steadily. Kind of moving up the ranks in the Gotham career mode. Trying to get up to first. I'm not sure if there are a set amount of seasons I can participate in or if it's just as many seasons until you get to that position, until you get bored of it, whichever comes first. Uh, so I'm working towards that, working towards saving up a million kudos points, and there is Jeeves hearing me talk. I thought he may have wanted food, so before I recorded this video, I went ahead and gave him some food. I think he's just wanting to go to bed. I think it's late at night, he just wants me to come to bed so we can snuggle, fall asleep. For that though, let me get one more championship in here. We're going to do the Russian Road Trials. And we're doing Class C. I think I've done all of these vehicles with the exception of the 7, the R500, and the Sledgehammer. Why don't we give this Sledgehammer a shot? Speed challenge. Drive the fastest past the speed cameras and get the highest combined speed to win. Well, this looks like it's the car to do that because it's top speed and acceleration. We're both maxed out. I'm sure the handling will be its Achilles heel though and that'll probably ruin it for me. Wow. I think it's shooting out the flames out of it with the exhaust pipes. I'm going to switch to this. camera angle. Oh yeah, that's handling's not doing me any favors. God. God dang it. Oh my gosh. This car cannot get back on track. I don't think I'm going to be able to recover from that first camera. Let's see what happens with the second, or with the, excuse me, with the third camera. If not, I think I may restart. Let's give it one other shot with this car. I'm glad to see the braking is uh, pretty good too. Yeah, I'm not not going to be able to do that. Wow. Great. 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 That's a great start to the video. Not even three minutes in and having to restart the event I'm racing in. I, I mean, that's what happens whenever I test out all these vehicles I haven't driven before. It's kind of, it is kind of spectacular how differently all the vehicles handle. Okay, that one's much better. It wasn't spinning out or bouncing off the walls like a pinball. was able to maintain that top spot. Ah. So it's too much into the water there, starting to spin out. I need to break like a mile ahead of this. We're just a guarantee. But I don't slam into the wall. I need to make sure not to pull the throttle on too much before I get going straight. Or else I will completely spin out. <laughs> Fell to third. That'll be fine. That shouldn't be too much of a detriment going into the next couple of races. Five stages, yeah, that should give me plenty of time. Eliminator, stay out of last place. Should give me plenty of time to build up some kudos, get some first place finishes, or at least second place, maybe third place. I'd like to at least finish in the top 50%. Now we've got an Eliminator event. You know, speed is, like I mentioned, going to be a boon for me, but 
This car's handling is not something I'm used to. a little bit longer. Let's keep on moving up the food chain. Make sure I straighten out before this jump. Don't want to hit that jump, come back on the ground, start spinning around. Definitely landed on his window. And I've got top spot. Let's see if I can maintain it. Five racers currently, 15 seconds until the next one is eliminated. I got this jump coming up on this stretch. Didn't lose control, but I did have to drop my speed considerably. It's fine. I'd rather play it safe at this point than risk getting wild, coming back down, and going straight to last place. Yeah, I'm hitting that. I just hit that water puddle, and I kind of hydroplaned a little bit. So yeah, those water puddles are affecting me. Something to keep my eye out for. I think at this point I've got such a deep lead and I can go ahead and take these corners very cautiously and not fear losing my top spot. Doesn't mean I can't get bouncy. Oh gosh. That probably did it. Where's he coming? Which side? Okay. I think I can. I'm gonna catch him. I've got him. That, I must say, was a great recovery. I could have really bit the dust there. Oh my gosh, hit that wall, spun around, was able to get situated going head first, back down the track and be able to get him to bump into me, give me the speed boost I needed to not completely lose him. And then fortunately for me, went straight into those real, real tight corners, spots where I can take over, overtake the AI and maintain my lead. All right. That was great. And that gave me a very decent lead on second place. And I keep hitting the table because I'm sitting probably too close to it. As my hands growing up and down, I'd bump them. Um, Super Cone Sprint, finish fastest to win. Okay, so this one in the past, I don't think I've won this one yet. I need to focus and just try and do it fast, not hit the cones. This has got just like a, a real small track. Oh, excuse me, kind of had a little burp pop up. It's like a real small track. I don't just need to worry. I'm not hitting the signs, not hitting the, the cones, and I think I'll do fine. Although it says I'm already in 8th place. Because I think what... God, I think what gets me on these is... I get going too fast. And 
lose control and just start hitting cones. So I have two of three. See, I moved up to third. I just need to maintain my patience. And I think I'll be fine. Still on first, yeah. There's this super cone sprint. I think you just need to be patient. You need to not worry about oh, taking the corners too tightly. Not worry about drifting around us, trying to earn kudos. Just need to take the corners sufficiently and on the straightaways, really give it all you got. And I think I can say that at least whenever I'm driving, you know, this sledgehammer, which has. At least in this class, the best acceleration and the best top speed. Maxed out at 10. Yeah, so 136 plus 2 minutes, 2 seconds in penalties. Still got first. Barely. Had like 30 milliseconds. 3 tenths of a second. To spare before I got kicked over, kicked back in the second place at least. Well, that is very helpful. That's better than the usual 8th place finishes I'm getting in this sort of event. And again, I think it's because I just get two get going too fast and I start hitting the cones tacking on them penalties the actual time I finish in isn't terrible but one of those penalties are tacked on that's where it kills me so we've got another eliminator looks like we're doing Kazansky Cathedral Kazansky -E. Swapping a little paint, you know, just a little. No harm, no foul. Yeah, that water is really kind of affecting my acceleration and making me hydroplane and losing all my traction. I just slalomed right through there, just slid little control. I think I will be good here. Thank you. Oh. you know what? I take that back, because you know what? I said that last Eliminator race I did just two events ago. I said, I'll be able to maintain this easily, and then I hit a wall and just about lost at the very end. And I'm not going to let that happen. I just need to not let my guard down. Keep going with a straight head. Keep going with a level head. Keep going with a straight head. What does that even mean? I guess I need to be looking straight ahead. That'd be good. I don't want to be looking backwards in this race. So I'll be looking forwards to the goal. But I'll look back. Okay, they're, they're still pretty close. Alright, looks like about 50% of the pack has been weedle, weaseled out. I start kind of getting sideways. Like that's not a. Oh, geez, too fast, too fast. 
That is not a safe thing to start happening whenever I'm about to hit a jump. Okay, it's me in second place. Let's maintain this now. I got this. Well, I think I'm gonna bump the table. No, I think I'm going to get first place in this championship. I think I'm gonna wrap this up easily. Rather handily, too. Oh yeah, 20,000 kudos lead over the next individual, well, championship kudos. It looks like just 4,000 for where it matters. So I think, if I don't, that's stage four or five. Is this the final stage then, street race? Or am I entering the final stage? I think this is the final stage. Uh, looks like I still got to get, I could get second and maybe pull out first place victory overall. But if I get anything less than that, definitely not getting the top spot. As long as the AI holds true to the way it's been performing so far. Oh wow, 10 laps. Looks like we're we just doing a little oval. Not quite. So like corn is really going to be important here. I've got the speed over Ethan Lane, but there's no great straightaway for me to really take advantage of that. Ooh. Thankfully, he was there to kind of prevent me from going full on squirrel. If this was real life. That would be really bad. You wouldn't do that, probably. Unless you really just did not like the other driver. But in a video game, I don't care too much. It's AI phones. And this isn't really like a $100,000 vehicle. This is kind of a fun little event. I'm already halfway done. This reminds me a lot of the Baby Mario and Baby Luigi racetrack in Mario Kart Double Dash. It was just one long, slender oval, and it was just the funnest track to race on. Especially if you knew how to really rack up the drift boosts. And even do a little bit of Mario Kart snaking. I want to say Mario Kart DS was the last game where it was real easily done before they nerfed it. And I think they nerfed it because Mario Kart DS, I think it was kind of a problem online. Or, you know, a perceived problem. If you didn't really know how to do it, you weren't going to be able to keep up with some of the top players. Which I was never really that great at snaking.
wonder if this will count for a clean section. I could hear my car hit the wall there. Well, I guess I won't know. I imagine it wouldn't. Okay, I secured that top spot. I believe that was the final race. Yeah, stage five results. Russian Road Trial, stage five of five. That should help me climb up the ranks. And that gave me a considerable amount of kudos points. I think I'm around the 400, what, 480,000 mark now? Got 35 points to contribute to my rank. Let's go ahead and finish championship, see where we are. I know I moved up a spot or two. I think it was 31st, 32nd. Let's see, we are now 30th, so I moved up a spot or two. Looks like I'm very close to moving up to 29th. And then there's another considerable gap between us. I now need 613 to get up to the hotshot rank. You know what? I bet there's a finite amount of time to complete the Gotham career. I bet there's a set number of seasons. Because you know, everybody else is getting points alongside me. Huh. So what do I need to move up? Five, or what do I need to move up to this rank? Looks like about 50 points, 60 points. Maybe not. Let's see, 486,000. Okay, we gotta qualify for a major. So next video is gonna be interesting. It's late where I'm at though. Mr. Jeeves was in here wanting me to go to bed. I better oblige him, I better go to bed. I can feel my eyes getting a little, eyelids getting a little heavy. Probably time for me to go. Anyways, this was John from MyBrainOnGames.com. You can check me out there. You can check me out here on YouTube at John the Gamer 0077. It's not my best name. I should probably look and see if I can change that. But it's what it is. And you can also follow me on Twitter at John Engelman. Uh, anyways, I do appreciate you watching. Thank you and goodbye.